All right, good morning. Can everybody hear me? Yes. All right. Welcome here today. My name's Brad Lowell. I'm the athletic director here at Mobile County Public Schools. Uh, I want to, on behalf of Superintendent Threadgill, Board of School Commissioners, and all of us here at district office, uh, we appreciate you coming out today for our athletic recognition uh, of our student athletes that have signed athletic scholarships. Appreciate you all taking the time to be here today um, so that we can just tell you thank you and recognize you for your accomplishments. Um, because in reality, when you look at statistics, I'm a big statistics guy being sports. When you look at those statistics, you fall into the top 1.3% of all high school athletes that either was able to get a partial or a full ride scholarship to a college, which means about 99% of all high school athletes don't have that opportunity that you have. Think about that for a minute. That's a pretty elite and select group of, of student athletes that has that opportunity. Um, sometimes it's easy to take advantage of that or not to realize just how much of an elite group that you're part of and the opportunity that you have ahead of you. So I just want you to kind of filter that in a little bit. You got so many things going on right now, trying to get graduation, move to the next stage in your life, the opportunities that you have, the excitements there, I know. Uh, but don't let the things that got you to this point go away. Because what got you here was doing the things that you were supposed to do in order to make this happen. Whether it be in the classroom, whether it be on the field, uh, most of you, I would imagine to say that you're students of the game. You had to be students in the classroom too in order to have that scholarship opportunity come, come your way. So I know the sacrifice that it takes. I know the time that it takes. I know the grind. That word that's used a lot in athletics, the grind, with making sure that everything was in order for you to get to where you are today. So congratulations on that because I know how hard it is. And I know how just not a lot of people get this opportunity. So what I'm asking you today is take advantage of that opportunity. There's a lot of people to think that you need to think before you leave for your next venture. Whether it's your parents, whether it's your principal, school administrators, counselors, teachers, somebody helped you to get to this point, right? Somebody helped you. Be sure to thank them. Be sure to thank them before you leave, okay? Because somebody, if not a team, helped you get to this point to where you are today, okay? And so remain humble in everything you do. Remain humble. But don't let out anybody outwork you, right? Remain humble, but don't let anybody outwork you. Don't give up. It's going to be hard. It's going to be a challenge. It's going to be new. You're going to be in a new place. That's going to, a lot of things are going to go on on a college campus. You're going to have more freedom. You're going to have to make good decisions, right? You've had to make good decisions so far, but you're really going to have to make good decisions here in a few more months, you know? Sometimes those decisions can impact what your dreams are, right? Okay, don't give up on your dreams. Even when it gets hard, it's going to be hard. Keep doing what you do. Finish it out. See it through. And good things will happen. Good things will happen. Okay? And a lot of us, a lot of your coaches probably, can give you experience on the difficulties, not only that you probably had through high school, but the challenges that you're going to be met with here in a few months. Nobody's going to kick you out of bed. Your parents are not going to kick you out of bed until you go to school up there. But your coach, and they're going to expect you to be in class. And when you don't show up for class, they're, they're going to go to the portal, right? <laughs> they're going to find somebody else that's going to be willing to do those things. So 
Don't give anybody a, that, that, that chance to do that. Take care of your business. Be a steward of your academics and on the field. Now, be proud of what you accomplished so far. I know you are. I know your parents are. Everybody that's associated with you, your family, your school, okay, the school staff, everybody's proud of you, okay? So, you know, be proud of what you've accomplished and then take it to that next step, all right, and grow from it. So here in just a minute, we want to recognize each of our student athletes that have signed a college scholarship, athletic college scholarship to play at the next level. And this is one of the, my most favorite activities throughout the year is being able to get all of our student athletes into one place and then recognize everybody and see where everybody's going, what everybody's doing, because we have a wide variety of kids, everything from your traditional sports like football, basketball, baseball, softball, to esports, fishing. I mean, you name it, it's an opportunity. And the range of activities that we engage in and opportunities shows in this room. And like I said, your level and your commitment to do what you do and to take care of the business that you take care of speaks volumes. Hopefully you've learned a lot of lessons playing sports. Time management, right? Being on time. Getting up early, having to be in the classroom, being accountable for discipline, you know, being held to a different standard than maybe other students because you are part of something. You know, all of those things, again, play into a big factor of, you know, you doing what you did in order to be here today. So, again, we're proud of you. The district's proud of you. I know superintendent's proud of you. I know your school's proud of you. I know our board of school commissioners are proud of you. And so we just want to thank you today. Uh, at this time, I want to recognize, um, I know we have a few guests here. Uh, Ms. Miles is director of academics. She came in. She uh, wasn't going to miss this program. Um, she, we are very lucky here to have a district staff starting with the superintendent down, that is a huge supporter of athletics. And you can see how much has been done over the co course of the last few years, just the investment that, uh, of you guys, of sports in general. And so we're very lucky to have that leadership and that opportunity here in Mobile County Public Schools. So at this time, I would like to call out the schools individually. We're gonna start with Baker. So, Coach Norman, and we're going to recognize Baker High School athletes. Now, again, we have a lot of athletes that wasn't able to attend today. We have baseball pl uh, playoffs. We have track sectional starting. We still got a lot of things going on. But, again, the ones that have today, we want to recognize you and thank you for, for what you did. Thanks, Coach. I'm Coach Steve Norman. I'm the head football coach at Baker High School. I'm here to um, recognize two of our athletes. Uh, we have several athletes that are receiving scholarships from Baker, but they're at other events today. Uh, today I have Jaden Campbell, who will be attending Tuskegee University. <laughs> and Gary Byers, who will also be attending Tuskegee University. Thanks, man. Next, we're going to call Bryant High School. Good morning. We have uh, 10 athletes across numerous sports that we're going to uh, I'm going to call out their names, whether they're here or not. I know we had a few that were unable to make it, but uh, we have Paris Collier, who will be going to Bishop State Community College and playing volleyball. Wait, you know, you're starting right over here. Right? Yeah. 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 
Okay. Yeah. Have Billy Gilmore, Troy University football. Yeah. Izzy Griggs, Coastal Alabama North Community College softball. Yeah. Emma Harville, Huntington College volleyball, and I think Emma was unable to make it today. Christian Mose, Tuskegee University football. Haley Shish, Mississippi Gulf Coast Community College Cheer. Haley's not here this morning. Brooke Tillman, Southwest Mississippi Community College Softball. Sean Wasden, Bellhaven College Soccer. Gail Wisher, East Mississippi Community College Softball. And Karen Wisher, East Mississippi Community College Softball. I mean, and we actually, I think we have a couple more that we'll sign between now and graduation, hopefully, but we're certainly proud of this group of athletes and they're all tremendous students who do a great job at Alan Bryant High School of leading our school. Thank you. Next up, Centronelle. Hey, my name is Mignon Freeman. I'm one of our assistant principals at Centronelle High School. And um, so I'm gonna introduce our athletes. Um, as the others have said, we have a couple of them that aren't able to be here today, um, but I would still like to recognize them. Hannah Odom, she's going to Coastal Olive. Next, we're going to recognize Davidson. University of Mobile for Cross Country. Ava Yo is going to East Mississippi Community College for soccer. Bryce Fick is going to Bishop State for baseball. Okay, next we're going to recognize Mayor Montgomery. Okay, can you hear me? Next, we have Erin Parker. She is 
going to Calhoun Community College for sophomore. Next, we're going to recognize Murphy. Um, my name is Edwin Burt, my athletic director at Murphy High School. I'll be announcing a couple of uh, exceptional student athletes who will be going on to college. Uh, first is Samantha Gallette, the University of Laola, New Orleans. She'll be going for volleyball. Beach volleyball. Beach volleyball. Okay, now other athlete, student athlete would be Jamaica Walker. She'll be going to Spoon River, Spoon River College, Canton, Illinois for basketball. And we'd like to thank you. Next up, Theodore. As Coach Collier decided to come today. Good afternoon, everyone. Um, no, they need you because they can't hear on TV. Sorry, guys. Um, Got to put my glasses on so I have to get old. Travis Bendall, Pearl River Community College football. Will James set at the sectional track meet. Uh, he's Mississippi State football. Braden Jenkins, football, West Alabama. <clears throat> Cameron Johnson, football, Vanderbilt. Mallory Verzon, Coastal Community College, tennis. Good job. Kaylin Weaver, Spring Hill, cheer. Derricka Williams, Coastal, Alabama, cheer. I didn't know this, but they're all honor students, so congratulations, guys. Thank y'all. Appreciate it. Next, we're going to recognize Viger. Uh, I'm Coach Marcus Cook, athletic director here at football, coach at Viger High School. Uh, first up, we'll have Chloe Gilmore. She's signing with Wildest Community College in Selma for women's basketball. <laughs> Next, we have Jermaine Holcomb, Jr. He will be signing with Alcorn State University for football. <laughs> Kiara Howard, East Mississippi Community College, women's basketball. Marcus Hunt, Jr., Oklahoma Panhandle State University, football. Reginald Poe, Oklahoma Panhandle State University, football. Michael Truck, Towner, Jr., University of North Alabama, football. All right, I saw Blunt. Come introduce him, Coach. He gonna do? It? Oh, 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 he gonna do? It. I didn't see him. How you doing? Hey, I'm Wendell Franklin. I'm here to represent the Great Manatee Blunt High School, and we have one student in in attendance. Willis Anderson is going to East Community College, East Central Community College football.
So again, in, in closure real quick, the one thing I want to touch on that I briefly mentioned earlier, please thank everyone that had a part of you getting to where you are today before you leave. Please do that. That's really important. That's part of that, staying humble, right? Okay. Know where you came from. Know who helped you. Always keep that in mind. And thank everyone that helps you along the way. Okay. Don't give up on what you're doing. No matter what, it's going to be hard. I'm not going to lie. Nobody's going to lie to you. It's going to be hard. Okay. It's going to be hard. Okay. But don't give up. Keep pushing through. Get that education. As you're playing sports at the same time, there's nothing better than that. That's a two-for-one deal, right? Two-for-one deal. So congratulations again. Uh, we're going to close the program out uh, until next year. Thank, thank everyone for being here, the administrators for the schools, uh, staff members, and uh, central office staff members that are here. On behalf of superintendent, we thank you for what you did and representing your schools in a manner that you did and earning that athletic scholarship. Thank you all again for being here. In June 2021, the Mobile County JROTC program participated in the sixth JROTC STEM Leadership Academy. The focus of the STEM Leadership Academy is to expose students to career opportunities that exist within Mobile County and the surrounding areas. The theme for this year was career opportunities in the field of aviation. Students took a variety of field trips to include local aviation museums, as well as major aviation industry partners. Cadets also took part in all the great things that JRTC Army programs are expected to do. Rappelling, land navigation, ground proof training, sports and physical fitness activities, and numerous leadership opportunities. While attending the six-day resident camp located on the beautiful campus of Spring Hill College, students were engaged in several challenging STEM projects. As we integrate military disciplines and STEM, Students who complete the camp come away feeling confident and have an understanding of what they can accomplish physically as well as possible career choices that may interest them. The JRTC STEM camp is a wonderful addition to what is offered to students in Mobile County. Keeping with our aviation theme, students learned about the history of aircraft by visiting two local museums. First, the Pensacola Naval Aviation Museum at Naval Air Station Pensacola, and the Aviation Pavilion at the USS Alabama Battleship Park. Mobile is home to a robust and thriving aviation community, and students had the opportunity to visit some of the industries located at Berkeley Field. Airbus is a leader in the aviation industry. They opened their doors to allow us to tour their final assembly building, where some of the most modern wide-bodied planes are assembled right here in Mobile, Alabama. Students learn what skill sets it takes to begin a career in the aircraft industry. ST Aerospace Engineering refurbishes large passenger jets as well as cargo jets. Our students toured their facility and were exposed to Pacific skilled labor opportunities at this facility. In addition, students went to Mobile Flight Works, a new educational facility that with a focus on aviation careers and maintenance opportunities. Continuing with the aviation theme, our cadets learned a lot of principles about aviation and lift. What better way to put this in practice than to fly a kite? Our students visited Dauphin Island where they constructed their own kite and had the opportunity to fly it. During the camp, we had a very dynamic curriculum that focused on several different STEM projects that the students had to execute while at Spring Hill College. The students learned to work together within their platoon and had to meet rigorous course expectations. As a result of funding provided by the National Science Foundation, students had the opportunity to learn how to fly drones. This provided a great opportunity for hands-on learning. A JROTC camp is not complete without unique training opportunities that are Army-centric. 
While at Dauphin Island, we visited Fort Gaines, where the students learned about this historic facility and the leadership that took place in the American Civil War. One of the activities that the Army expects us to do as part of a normal JROTC Cadet Leadership Challenge is to conduct ground-proof training. Students went to the U.S. Coast Guard Aviation Training Center, where they learned how to rescue themselves if they fall into any body of water. Students are taught to use their uniform to create a flotation device. These techniques have saved the lives of sailors and soldiers countless times. One of the more exciting activities is rappelling. Rappelling builds self-confidence by having students scale down a tower. It is unnatural to back off of a 45-foot tall platform, but overcoming fear of heights is one of the major outcomes of this training. It's a big boost for cadet self-confidence, and for many cadets, this is one of life's key learning moments. Land navigation is essential for any JROTC cadet. Students learn how to read maps, they learn the different types of terrain, and how to navigate with only a compass. Drill is a fundamental aspect of JROTC. It teaches discipline, leadership, and precision, working together as a team. These skill sets translate easily into life, whether students choose a career in the military or choose to be a civilian. Our charter is to, is to make uh, cadets into better citizens. And if they choose to go in the Army, that's a path, but also a lot of our cadets earn scholarships, go to college, or straight into industry, like uh, working with the industry partners here uh, through this whole week for the STEM, lead, STEM leadership camp. Uh, a lot of the industry partners have brought kids into the, into the factories and workshops and, and, and showing, showing the, the, uh, the cadets uh, pathways to straight into industry. It's really a great experience and it makes you a better person because like I've said before, it builds your leadership skills, helps with teamwork, and it really like gets you out of your shell. The STEM camp would not be possible without our sponsors. The National Science Foundation has been our main supporter these past several years. We would like to thank Mobile County Public Schools and its leadership along with our many other partners and sponsors.